Human, to hate blindly is as dangerous as to trust blindly. An old Angoran proverb. One of many I had forgotten somewhere along the way. This is not an apology. I don't know if I will ever be able to look upon an alien and not feel hatred. But what I did to Char was wrong, so I must try. <laughs> okay. Wait. Ryder, I've been telling my family about you and my time on the Tempest. I'd love for you to meet them and see where I grew up. My true mother, Sahuna, is especially interested in meeting you. Next time around Havar, let's stop by. Okay. <laughs> let's do that. It's a bit scary meeting your true mother, but why couldn't he ask me that before we left Havar? Jarl! Jarl! <laughs> Wait. Is there bad news? No. The Pathfinder is interested in where I grew up. Ryder, this is my true mother, Sahuna Amadara. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, I know it's Angara awkward. liked the hugging. <laughs> Giles told me how much he admires you. Really? He's my favorite. Smart, loyal, kind. A great shot. Writes poetry, souls. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> I'm late for a resistance meeting. Stay clear. Your mother's in the resistance? <laughs> yes. And every child is her favorite. <laughs> Good. As it should be. Everyone, this is right. Hi. Look oh, wow. Tarkin, Welcome back. This is where I spent most of my days growing up. Me, my sister, Guana, our cousin, Etta, and brother, Finn. Then, Bavezil, Rolu, So wonderful to Ejal, have you back. A human. Jal, you bringing someone special to meet us. Wow, cozy. <laughs> we like to live like this. Gonna give your friends some real food? Good to see you. And here's my room. My tiny sanctuary. Yeah. That's so cozy, I think. We have a saying that I like. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> I like that. Oh, no. Who put this here? <laughs> What's that? Schematics? Uh... When I was seven, my aunt stole a cat weapon for me. So I took it apart to learn. And that is, was a Karkin. Pet Karkin. <laughs> Alfit. He died. So I also took him apart. <laughs> to learn? Why not? I don't show people these things. You make my heart sing. I want us to be together. Ah, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I'd like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Teenage romance. I adore you. Let me show you one more thing you might like. Uh, lie down. Okay, sure. <laughs> Do I look skeptical? Oh, wow. Beautiful. You made that? Long ago. It's not accurate. More of a dream, really. Just one more thing I want to take apart and 
Figure out. Ah, uh, jaw. And now I have someone to do it with. <sighs> My mother is going to love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, maybe not mentioning your mother when we're having a little romantic moment. <laughs> oh, he's such a sweetheart. Right. Now, I guess we're done here for now. I really... I don't know why it surprised me that he lives on Havar. Where else would he live? I mean... Aya is just for temporary stay, so you need to live somewhere. But we never see their, the area they live in, so I'm not sure about that. Again. Wait a second. I got <laughs> from Sahuna. Do you like pie? I secured some food books from your home planet of Earth. Disappointingly, the other mothers aren't impressed with the flavor. I hope you like pie. <laughs> nice. All right, Anne. I hear good news from Jal that you and he are serious about your relationship with one another. I say good news, but warn you that some people will find this alien match offensive. You must ignore them and give them no more thought than I have, which is already too much. It's a challenge and a gift to break boundaries. Now, please forward to me your health documents and the personal narrative of your early years at your soonest convenience. Really? Fine. I guess you're his mother. You've... It's probably to be expected. Ryder, thank you for visiting my family with me. For someone with such a small family, it must have been overwhelming, but you didn't show it at all. I'm so amazed that you confess to having feelings for me like I do for you. I feel lucky and also scared and excited. How unlikely is it that you traveled from another galaxy to come into my life? I'm humbled. Yours, your darling John. Ah. Uh, He's such a sweetheart, and he's so, so sweet. Did you know how much hair isolate? Temperatures are for... below freezing and continuing to fall. The hair isolate against the cold? Yeah. My ears are freezing really bad now. Now, let's see where we need to go. <clears throat> so we've been across all of this map and we need to go there. A science facility. Right, so uh, mm, I guess we need to go. We can go there, right? Yeah. And of course, now, ugh, the nomad, I have to call it limits. back again. Life support is stable. When is this planet ever gonna thaw, huh? Because it definitely needs to thaw. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Right. But look at the the uh, the aurora. I understand so where you're pretty. coming from, John. 
I'm here because I had to change things. Leaving your job isn't the same as joining a resistance. Of course not. But I know what it's like to want to change things. No. It's not the same at all. You may have wanted to change this system. But I have to fight the system. <laughs> Well, yeah. Um, um, I think I agree with job. It's not a want and a need. It's not possibly not on the same level of well, crisis. <laughs> But he's trying to understand, I think. So give him a break with your job. This one. It's the one we drove past Thank you for following a couple of times. Oh shit. Taking out these kids will mean a lot to my people. Yep, yep. So if we started an outpost here, would we all live in slow forts? That's what I was wondering as well. <laughs> oh wow, there's so many of them. Let's see. Let's reduce the number, shall we? That was nice and fun. Hey, that was rude. Um, still fighting? No. Yeah, we're done. I'm done. Here's something though. Right, let's go inside and see what's going on. There's a lot of organic material here. Angara, Ket, something else. Scans could tell us more, Pathfinder. Okay. Face shoe. Discovered species human. Right. Nothing. There is an audio log saved on this device, Pathfinder. Cat? Yeah? Let's get a translation, Sam. Processing. The non-genetic code that expresses this projection of a bioelectric field has been isolated. The process to integrate this into our own genome is ongoing. Early success is documented. Once complete, adaptation should be distributed to all ascendant and humans. Ability may also prove useful as part of the base's ultimate configurations. All research has been transmitted to the Empire. Exaltation is not just about making more cat. It's an exchange. An exchange requires consenting parties. Agreed. There's bound to be more here. Let's keep... Operations log. Keep... Another audio log detected. Let's hear it. Transmissions are acknowledged by whom? Possible breakdown in connection with the information mishandled. Investigation ongoing. Logs to be updated shortly. Anything that delays or stops the cat is a blessing. I wonder Great. if we can find the follow up logs. Yeah. What? I, I don't get it. There's nothing to scan here. Outside? Below our feet? Is something and ugh, it's so freaking annoying when it does that. Oh, hey, uh, it's a tiny object for once. <laughs> Go 
collected by a specimen. Right, uh, an ident unidentified species. Hmm. All right. Maybe useful again. Another tiny little thing. Yeah, I see something there. Uh, from caffeines. All right. Wait, I can actually pick it up. Scanned and recorded. All right. There's more of them. So, wait. Now I can. way then. There it is, I see it. I see it. But I can't pick it up. Okay. Right, let's listen in. Stand and record it. Oh, ruin the recording. Oh, ah, this one. But that one I couldn't pick up. Is more in here? We're close. See anything? Doesn't help using this one. Wait, there it is. Wow, it did help. Now, Pathfinder, these samples all contain the same genetic sequence. At yeah. first, it appears to be a familial connection, but the genome shows signs of modification. Evidence suggests the sequence was drawn from a single individual and incorporated into other cat. The Archon. Exaltation. So does the Archon control the cat because they see him as a progenitor? Or does his rank give him the privilege to propagate his genes like this? Hmm. A cultural question beyond my purview. In any case, the stuff we found should be of great interest to the science team back on the Nexus. Oh. W what the hell? Where are we supposed to go now? To no, this way. Okay, fine. Yes, we continue on. So we're going to take the same route, scenic route across the mountains again. Yep, yep, this spot I recognize. So, uh. I think you could get the guys in the iron market to lay off us, Joe. Baran hasn't mentioned any tension. You're welcome in the market. I was a cop. I know when there's spit in my food. Oh, uh, really? That doesn't sound good at all. Come on. I don't want to fight. Can't we just get along? One of those cats uh, outposts that I didn't want to stop to check out. Other ones we need to go to now. That's the part of the Cat Command Center. Yeah. It is. No, don't tell me we have to go all the way back up there. Really? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. There. So this time, I'm not going to be clever and jump across. This is the Ketcom outpost we heard about on Vold. So they filled it back up again. They did. Yeah. Another low, that's for sure. Yeah. It's only minus 30. Yep, not cold in the least. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Attention, Arkenov Sector 119 NYKC. Previous report was 39 cycles ago. Senate requires an update of progress within the sector. A reminder that all campaign leaders are expected to deliver reports once in every 15 standard cycles. Senate recognizes that presence of the scourge phenomenon may be disruptive to communications. Take steps to circumvent this obstacle so that regular updates can resume. This is your second reminder of this nature. Please acknowledge receipt. The so is ignoring. Not the supreme leader. There's more like him all over Andromeda. Gathering the genetic information of other races and transmitting it back. And making more cat in the process. But where do they come from? And what are they if they are evolving themselves into other things? Bugs, communication orders require explanation. Harkon commands a block of all transmissions of Angara data to the Empire. Is a protocol. Sounds like people are questioning their leader. Uh -huh. In this case. Yeah. So we know that he's Environment not Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. He is not the boss. Communications. Only Archon is aware of shifting situation in Helios. If Archon's opinion is that protocols are not to our benefit, accept his wisdom. He is the Senate's voice in Helios and must be obeyed. There's something here. I don't believe the Primus and the Archon agree. Yep, I think you're right. It sounds like the Ket are starting to question what the Archon's doing. If this continues, it might be good for all of us. What do we do with this, then? There is likely nothing to be done. But conflicts between factions seldom resolve quietly. Then we'll just have to keep an ear to the ground for now. With luck, something will happen. Well, actually, how about giving some cat the information, you know, divide and conquer, sort of? Yeah. Dissension in the ranks. Okay, I, I guess we're done. I'm not I'm not sad to leave this planet. Nope. Until we can see some oceans and or at least some ponds. I'm not gonna hurry back. Okay, time to take a break. Thanks for watching. Bye.
I should go. I should go. I should go. I should go.